Hi students, good evening. Welcome to the program Vijnana Vidhi. What about the last classes? In the first unit, you come to know a lot about nature, right? And now you begin to explore the nature. And today, we are going to study the second unit. And from the second unit itself, we are going to study the first chapter. And what is the name of the second unit? Yes, the name of the unit is the frames. What idea you get by hearing the name the frames? Yes, it is about films. And uh, do you like to watch films? Yes, of course, we all like to watch films. And today, we are going to a world of films through this unit. Okay. Now, I will show you a picture. What all things you watch in this picture? Can you tell me now? Yes, you are watching a lot of people, a camera, a dish, a special eye, all these things. That means, people and things related with film are shown in this picture, right? Okay. Can I ask you some questions related to this picture? What does it indicate? Uh, the, the picture indicates that a uh, shooting is going on. And what does this eye indicate? Whose eye can be it? Yeah, it may be the eye of an actor. That is all about the titular picture. And now, I am going to ask you some other questions related with film. Okay, let us go through it. How many movies do you watch approximately a month on DVD, TV or in a theatre? How many films do you watch in a month? Ah, maybe 4 to 6 films you watch in a month. What are your favourite types of movies? Ah, yeah, yeah, some of you like romantic movies, some of you like uh, horrors, comic films, adventures, then animated films, all these films are there. We can see a lot of uh, different types of or different genres of films in, uh, in the film industry. And rank the 5 best movies you have seen that you can write down in your notebook. What kind of movies do your parents or guardians like to watch? Yes, definitely they would like to watch family based movies. How often do you watch movies with them? Ah, maybe ah, 4 or 5 times with them, right? Okay. What are the differences between watching a movie at home and watching it in a theater? Can you tell me the difference? Yeah, in a theater we will be able to watch movie in a big screen and the sound effects will be too good than home, right? Okay. What kind of movies do you watch at school? Yeah, in school we used to watch value based movies and the movies related with syllabus and the lesson, right? And not only that and uh, the films giving social awareness also we used to watch in school, right? Okay. Through this lesson we are going to watch movies through a critical perspective. Until now, we have watched the films, uh, we have given more importance to the story, to the actors and all. And after you study this lesson, you will be able to watch movies through a critical perspective. Okay. Now, I will show you some pictures of famous film makers. You can guess who are they. Okay. Whose picture is this? Can you name this person? Yes, he is a famous Charlie Chaplin. What you have to do is, in page number 42, three columns are given there and the picture of these famous personalities. What you have to do is, you have to collect information about them from internet and you have to write down all the profile, all this information in that columns. Okay. Now, who is this person? Charlie Chaplin. Okay. Now, let us go through his profile. Charlie Chaplin was an English comic actor filmmaker and composer. He was born in the year 1889 in London. He lived a life of extreme poverty. His notable films are The Champion, The Bank, The Kid, 
and so on. He died in the year 1977. And I will show you another personality, another filmmaker. Can you guess the name of this person? Maybe you are not that much familiar with this person. He is a Japanese filmmaker and his name is Akira Kurosawa. And let us go through his profile. He was born in Japan. At first, he was a painter and later he entered the Japanese film industry. His famous films are Sanshiro Sugata, After the War, Drunken Angel and Rashomon. He won the Golden Lionate in the Venice Film Festival. He died in the year 1998. And again we are having one more personality. Can you guess who is this? Yes, we all are familiar with this person because he hails from Kerala. And let us go through his profile. Adur Gobalakrishnan. Adur Gobalakrishnan born in the year 1941 in Kerala. His famous work The World of Cinema won a national award in 1983. Swayamvaram, Elipathayam, Madilugal, Kathapurushan are some of his famous films. These are about the profile of these famous film makers. And you have to collect the information about them and you have to write down in the notebook. Okay. Now, we are going to watch some videos. Let us watch it. What happens behind the scenes? Let us go through it now. Three, two, one, go! Because we had decided to use this completely virtual environment approach, we figured it's an opportunity to take the best of the animation process and the best of motion capture and the best of live action. You combine those things. You can do something that nobody's done before. You could just walk, we'll add everything else. And I was like, but how? That's not possible, but they made it possible. This is a virtual production workflow. We're trying to leverage the latest technologies that are available to us in lighting, rendering, and interactivity to enable a new set of tools to visualize shots that they would see on a live action set. What makes us able to make this movie now is the technology to have photo real animal animation. Will you look at that? Camera set, and action. Every single shot requires hundreds of people and a tremendous amount of collaboration. <laughs> A lot of it is research. You just do a ton of research. That is your basis of reality. And the research is good because it sparks ideas and different ways of looking at it. And you get to kind of live it and walk through it. It's pretty much starting with the backbone or the basis of real life. The way it moves and looks and scrunches its face and the way it reacts to light. The only fantastical thing is that they actually speak. What do you think they're talking about? This idea of blending old and new technology and then to see how they sew it all together. For me, it's magic. The goal here is for people to not know what's real and what's not real. There's a lot of people, a lot of artists working on this film. There's a lot of technicians. Everybody's been very generous in sharing their techniques and their experiences. It's really been remarkable. Films have to be an emotional experience for the audience. You have to tell a good story. I wanted to hold that standard. If I'm engaged emotionally with the characters, all the spectacle was worth it. Did you notice anything special about the animal characters in the film? Now you watch another video from the film Life of Pi. Beim Schreiben des Buches, das ich in Bildern schon im Kopf hatte, hielt ich die Geschichte für nicht verfilmbar. Man müsste die Symbole des Geschriebenen in eine sichtbare Realität verwandeln. Einige Regisseure warfen einen Blick auf das Projekt, drückten ihr Interesse aus, aber wir kamen nicht zusammen. Ich brauchte einen Regisseur. Ist das ziemlich aufregend? Die Herausforderung ist, dass der Film von einem Tiger handelt. Fühlt man Mut, manchmal nur Verzweiflung. What do you understand from this 
yeah a lot of animal characters are used in this film but all are animated animals this is about the modern films and what do you know about the ancient films now i'll show you another video of an ancient film <laughs> understood that in this film the filmmakers used an original animal to shoot the film in the olden days they hadn't enough technologies to use the animated animals but now in this modern world we are having a lot of technologies that means technology improved a lot that's why the filmmakers are using these technologies to make use of animated characters or animated animals in the films now here we are going to study a new lesson the name of the lesson is the project tiger this lesson is about satyajit ray's own experience of shooting a film by using a tiger an original tiger and in his film gobi gaine bagha baine it's a bengali film and in that film he wanted to take a shot by using an original tiger what all difficulties he faced during that time that all things he is explaining through this chapter okay now let us go through the profile of satyajit ray satyajit ray was an indian film maker screen writer graphic artist music composer and author widely regarded as one of the greatest film makers of the 20th century he was born on 2nd may 1921 in the city of calcutta ray was drawn into independent film making after meeting french film maker jean renoir and viewing vittorio de sica's italian neorealist 1948 film bicycle thieves during a visit to london ray directed 36 films including feature films documentaries and short films he was also a fiction writer publisher illustrator calligrapher and film critic he has also authored several short stories and novels meant primarily for young children and teenagers Feluda the Sleuth and Professor Shonku the scientist in his science fiction stories are popular fictional characters created by him he was awarded an honorary degree by Oxford University Ray's first film Pathar Panchali won 11 international prizes including the inaugural best human document award at the 1956 Cannes Film Festival This film along with Abarajito and The World of Apu form the Apu trilogy. Ray did the scripting, casting, scoring and editing and designed his own credit titles and publicity material. Ray received many major awards in his career including 32 Indian National Film Awards, a Golden Lion, a Golden Bear, two Silver Bears, a number of additional awards at international film festivals and award ceremonies and an academy honorary award in 1992 the government of india honored him with the bharat ratna its highest civilian award in 1992 he passed away on 23rd april 1992 what do you understand from this profile satyajit ray was a wonderful film maker he is not only a film maker but also he has made a lot of short films documentaries and all and uh, moreover that he was a publisher and uh, he has written a lot of short stories and novels he touched hit his hand everywhere in the world of literature right now let us move to the lesson no one can beat hollywood 
when it comes to making films with animals in them. I remember films in my childhood and there were quite a few of them that had an Alsatian called Rin Tin Tin. This dog's acting was more impressive than a human's. Later, we got to see three or four other films with a collie called Lassie. It seemed that the director could make Lassie do just about anything. These trained dogs were famous stars in their own rights and the money they earned was no less than that a real film star got. Their owners could easily make as much as a hundred thousand rupees from just one film. Here in this paragraph Satyajit Ray explains that in the Hollywood film they have used a lot of animal characters and no other film industry can beat them. Why? Because they have used such an attractive characters in their films. Here when he was a child he used to watch two films and in one film an Alsatian called an Alsatian dog called Rin Tin Tin was the main character and in the other film a collie dog called Lassie was the main character in that film and these characters these animal characters earned not less than the human characters that means from a film during that time they earned about 1 lakh rupees. The masters of these dogs they used to earn money using these animals. Before moving to next paragraph let me ask you some questions. What does Hollywood excel in? Yeah, Hollywood excel in using animal characters in their films and no one is there to beat them using this animal characters. Identify the topic sentence in the first paragraph. What do you mean by a topic sentence? The first sentence of a paragraph is called a topic sentence. What is a paragraph? A paragraph will contain a topic sentence, two or three supporting sentences and there will be some quotations or examples and at last there will be a conclusion. Together it make a paragraph. Then the supporting sentences means these sentences give a lot of information about the topic sentence and related to the topic sentence we can add some examples also there. That includes a paragraph. Here what is the topic sentence? Now you will be able to give me the answer right? What is the topic sentence from this paragraph? Yes, no one can beat Hollywood when it becomes to making films with animals in them. How many examples are given to support the topic sentence? What are they? In the first paragraph, how many examples are given to support this topic sentence? Yeah, as we all know, two examples are given. And what are they? The first example is about the Alsatian dog called Rin Tin Tin. And the second example is about a collie dog called Lassie. In what sense were the two dogs famous stars in their own right? Because the money they earned was not less than a human actor earns. And today we come to know a lot about the films. In the first videos as we have seen in the ancient period the people took a lot of risk to shoot a film using animal characters. But in the modern films, because of the growth of the technology, it was not at all difficult for them to shoot a film using animal characters. And uh, here in the first paragraph of the lesson Project Tiger, we have seen that two animal characters are used in the films. And the first one is an Alsatian dog called Rin Tin Tin and the second one is a collie dog called Lassie. Satyajit Ray used to watch films during that time in his childhood, these animal characters in his childhood and uh, he used to stage dramas and all from the 8th age onwards. He was having such a passion to be a filmmaker and uh, for tomorrow what you have to do is you just complete all the activities and read the lesson very carefully 
only we have taken one paragraph that you have to read at least for 3 to 4 times why because you have to be thorough with the vocabulary used in that paragraph so you should go through the lesson very carefully how was the lesson today did you like it okay and in this unit we will be able to watch a lot of videos because the lesson is related with films right so it will be interesting for you why because a lot of videos you can come through hope you understand the lesson well you can watch this video again in the youtube channel of goodness tv if you have any doubts regarding this class you can ask it in the comment box of this video thank you take care